Hello guys, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions and today we're going to run benchmark tests between the Galaxy Note 4 versus the Galaxy Note 5. Hello guys, this is Eric again with another video and today is benchmark time between the Galaxy Note 4 versus the Galaxy Note 5. I'm going to run all four tests and 2-2 Benchmark, Geekbench, Quadrant, and 3D Mark. So let's go on and get the test started. Let's make sure that we don't have any apps open. So no apps are open and let's go on and run the test. I already ran the test on my Note 4 uh, and I had a score of 49881. Let's run the test again. And uh, Note 4 is running the Snapdragon 805 processor, so kind of bear that in mind. The Note 4 came out in 2014. The Note 5 just came out um, this this week, last week, as a recording this video, which is uh, today's date is 8:25 of 2015. So um, this phone just came out last week. All right. So. The uh, Note 4 has 2560 by 1440 screen resolution, and also the Note 5 has 2560 by 1440 resolution. As this video goes on, let's go on and look at the build quality of the Note 5. It's a gorgeous phone. I have the white version, and uh, glass front, glass back. You got the volume rockers here. Uh-oh, so we have a crash. We have a crash, guys. Untutu Benchmark did not want to run here. It crashed. So, unfortunately, let's see here. Oh, it's still going. The first part crashed, so it's going to be pretty interesting to see what it's going to do. I flipped the phone over. I didn't press any buttons, so... Uh, right now the phone is still cool and if we look side by side at the screen quality uh, both of the screens are gorgeous the Super AMOLED screens on both uh, phones okay so the Note 4 is done waiting on the Note 5 remember part 1 crashed so they may have a little bit to do with it so let's go ahead and look at that screen man that's gorgeous and it's running pretty smooth without a hitch. All right, so the scores are in. So let's take a look at these scores here. The Note 4 is 50,888. And the Note 5 is 68,911. Get that in the screen. So without a doubt, the uh, new Exynos processor from Samsung it's pretty good. Don't know what happened. The first part of the test crashed. So we could go on and take that with a grain of salt and go to the next test. So we go close this out. We're gonna clear out the RAM, close out all apps. We're gonna go to Geekbench 3. Okay, again, if you look at the processor, if you're running Android 5.1.1. And we're running Android 5.1.1. And we're running 4 gigs of RAM here and 3 gigs of RAM here. All right, so let's go on and run the test. And 3, 2, 1, Geekbench 3. Okay, so here it is Geekbench score. The Note 5 is 1485 single core. The Note 4 is 1090 single core. Multi core, the Note 5 is 4870. And multi core is 3195. So, in essence, 
the Note 5 should be a lot faster than the Note 4. Okay, so let's close this out and let's go to another test. We can go to Quadrant. Okay, we're going to run full benchmark. All right. The Note 4 is an excellent phone. Um, it, it, it runs real great. No problems with it at all. But the Note 5 is the big daddy on the block. So if you got a Note 4, should you upgrade? I got another video coming out for that. All right, we're almost done here. I tell you what, the screen of the Note 5 is absolutely gorgeous. It, it, it looks like it's calibrated a lot better than the Note 4. Okay, so let's look at the results here. All right, so the Note 4 ran a test of 28,430. Get that in the video there. All right, and the Note 5 is 34,461. Great score. Both of the phones are great. 3D mark, guys. Okay, it took the Note 4 a little while to uh, for the app to open, so let's see what's going on here. Maybe we may have some throttling going on. Let's run the test. All right. Skip over to the mini video here. I'll tell you what, the Note 5 screen is definitely gorgeous. I don't know if you can see this in the video, but the Note 5 screen is definitely gorgeous. I, again, this is a very intensive test. Every time I run this test on my phones, it, it, this is, it, it runs choppy, very choppy. Uh, the good thing about it is that on the Note 5, it's running five frames per second. The Note 4 is running six frames per second, guys. So, you know, it's very choppy, but uh, I, I, you know, I expect this out of the Note 4 and the Note 5 because I don't know any phone that can run this benchmark smooth. Okay. So it looks like she's about to run the second test. We're going to stay right here. The second test has started on the uh, Note 5 and we have about 10 frames per second here and on the Note 4 we're running about 7 frames per second and I can tell you we definitely got some throttling going on the phone is oh yeah the Note 4 is definitely hot in the back the Note 4 is hot the Note 5 uh, is warm it's not hot it's warm so I, I would assume that the Note 4 is doing a whole lot of throttling right now, so we're going to stay with it. But it's a real testament on how far we have become, you know, from generation to generation, from phone to phone. Um, you know, I had a phone that uh, can't even run this benchmark, but uh, this by um, Sony Z Ultra barely ran this benchmark. And let's do, go ahead and do a screen comparison here. If you look at the Note 5, the Note 5 screen is gorgeous compared to the Note 4. The Note 4 is gorgeous, but I tell you what, it's something that Samsung did with the Note 5 to make that screen pop. Okay, so the benchmark is finished on the Note 5, and we got a 1240 score, and we're waiting on the Note 4 here and there we go we got the chart down there we're gonna look at both charts and take a peep at what happened who, who what uh, phone started throttling first okay all right so the right here we have the uh, 1240 score on the note 5 and we have 11.89 on the Note 4, okay? Yeah, the definitely the Note 4 is definitely hot. 
So let's go to get that screen down there. So let's go to look at some of the, the charts here. Look at that. If you look at this, the Note 5 with the Exynos processor kind of kept things uh, at bay, uh, kept the, uh, the CPU clock speed a little higher. But let's look at the uh, frames per second, which is the orange line. Here, the orange line is definitely way at the bottom. It spiked a little bit there, but it's definitely at the bottom. I'll tell you what, the uh, Note 5 looked like it had a little better um, FPS. So there you go. All right, guys, leave a comment below about this benchmark test. Again, be on the lookout for my comparison test between the Note 4 and the Note 5. Um, and it, I got some surprises coming up, guys, between the Note 4 and the Note 5. Should you upgrade? If you got a Note 4, should you upgrade to the Note 5? Stay tuned for that video, guys. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. See you on the next video. Peace.